Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming along here today. My name is Vicky, and here's my colleague Mei Mei. We are subject librarians, and today's speakers will come to join us in this fantastic journey to spice out your life with movies, music, and multimedia resources. We are going to divide this talk into five parts. In part one, you will learn how to find the audiovisual materials in the main library here and enjoy films with your friends. From part two to part four, I will introduce the streaming media resources provided by NTU Library, including movies, documentary, and music. Finally, Mei Mei will handle part five, where she will introduce several multimedia databases. Before I begin the presentation, I'd like to ask, uh, do you have ever borrowed the DVD or CDs in the main library? Please raise your hand. Oh. Here is the procedure for finding and watching DVDs and VCDs in NTU main library. There are five steps to follow. First, step one, search the video you need on the library's catalog and check the shelf location, code number, and loan policy. Step two, find the video on the shelf at the first floor. Here you need to read the uh, layout poster in the digital media commons to identify the locations of music CDs, videos with public performance edition or home edition. The next step is uh, to borrow the video at the service counter. After checking out the video, you could book a seat in the audio visual area using the check-in machine. The last step is uh, to find your selected seat to watch the video. Here's NTU Library's website. Let's search for the DVD on the catalog. Uh, the catalog is called Sling, S-L-I-M. Now I click the Sling icon to start the search. In order to find the audio visual materials, before you type in the uh, keyword, please set up the search scope first. Choose the library catalog option from the first drop-down list and choose audio visual material in the second drop-down list to find the DVDs in the main library. Then enter the keywords in the search bar, for example, Tom Cruise movie, Top Gun. Let's click on the magnifier icon to start the search. Here's the search result. On the left-hand side, you can apply the filter to limit search result to video and main library. So here is a DVD of Top Gun Maverick. Click on the title to see more details. As the figure shows, two items are in the main library's first floor collect, uh, video collection area. Actually, they are located in different shelves. The first DVD is for library use only. It's a public performance edition. There is a gray label on the DVD case and students can watch it in the library. This one, like this one. The second DVD is home use only. It's a home edition. There is a pink label on the DVD case, like this one. You can borrow it back home, but you cannot use the home edition in the library due to the copyright. So if you want to watch the video in the library, you need to choose the uh, first item to borrow and then click on the item record to check more details. The status is item in place, which means the DVD is on the shelf. Also, you, know, you will need to know the code number to find it in the library. Next, let, let's find the physical item at the first floor. The video collection area. Here is the layout of digital media commons. Now we are here in the group learning room. And the library entrance gate is here, near the service counter. Moreover, I want to let you know where to find these three kinds of collection. The music CD, home use only video, and library use only video. The music CD collection is here highlight in orange and near the rehearsal room. The home use only video, which highlight with pink, is arranged along the wall and windows, like the photo. While the library use only video is in the middle of the digital media commons, highlight with uh, green. For example, the DVD's call number begins from 
987.83 is over there, like the star sign. The next step, uh, take the DVD and your NTU student ID card to the service counter. As a reminder, you must check out the DVD at the service counter since there is a security case. Before borrowing the DVD, you please know the following rules. Each student can borrow a maximum of four items with a borrowing period of five days. Please notice that multimedia material can be renew cannot be renewed or requested online. After checking out the DVD, please take it to the checking machine and book a seat with your student ID card. The checking machine is located in front of the service counter. This is the operating screenshot of the checking machine. You can click book a seat. And you can book A1 to A19 for watching DVDs. And the seat with black means it's available to use with gray, uh, which means uh, it's reserved by another. You remember the scene number and take the seat. Then you can play the DVD in the audiovisual material equipped with uh, headphones. The seats in the audiovisual area are provided for one and two people. If you want to watch the DVD with your friend, the media hub is available for three to five people. But you need to make an online reservation in advance. You can go to our website, find a service option, and find a facility section, and choose Media Hub. Here's a link to NTU Library Space Management System. Click on it and log in with your NTU account. Then you can see the page. You can click the reserve button to make a reservation for Media Hub. Next, please go to the check-in machine to tap at least three uh, student ID card within the first 15 minutes of the borrowing period. For example, if you register from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., please check in between 9 o'clock and 9.15. As a reminder, those who don't check in within the first 15 minutes will automatically cancel the reservation. The library may suspend the uh, reservation privilege for one month. After introducing how to use the physical audiovisual material in the library, next we continue to talk about the streaming database. Let me give you a brief, brief introduction to a database subscribed by the NTU library. This is NTU library's website. Note that the search area is in the middle of the home page. Let's click on the third tab, databases. If you already know a specific database, you can type the database title in the search bar and click search. If you want to browse all accessible databases through the NTU library, just click the link under the search bar. It will connect to the list of databases. In the feature database, there are um, some important databases of each subject. Here are three kinds of links sorted by content type, subject, and titles for browsing over 600 databases provided by NTU Library. Let's take a look at the left-hand side of the web page. You can browse by subject and to find the database related to music, theater, and movies. You can also browse by content type to find a multimedia database. Before using the databases, there is a notification for you. Most of the NTU library e-resources are accessible within the campus network. However, when you are outside of the campus or at home, you can still remotely access e-resources through off-campus internet connection, also known as VPN virtual private networks. You need to do some settings for the first time. You can find the instruction for setting up the VPN under the service section of the NTU library's website. Just follow the step provided there. While VPN service is provided by NTU Computer and Information Networking Center, we say Ji Zhong in Chinese, 
If you get trouble when setting up the VPN, please reach out to them for help. Every student, until students need to apply for VPN privilege first and set up VPN. Now we enter NTU Computing Center's website and click on the first link. It will direct you to the webpage to log in with your NTU email account and password. After logging, please choose the fourth option in the service list, and then there will be an English version document for you to finish it. I suggest you uh, see the sample picture and turn over your NTU student ID card, then enter the rightmost four digits of numbers here. Enter the numbers in a blank. Once you have activated your VPN privilege, you can install the VPN software on your computer, laptop, or smartphone. The software is post secure, and the app is inventing secure access clients. In this section, I will introduce several databases for watching streaming movies and documentaries. There are three databases for watching movies, especially palm movies, Hollywood movies, and animations. Although the website layout are in Chinese, they cover movies from uh, di uh, different countries and in different languages. Just a reminder, the first one, K-Movie, and the second one, Classroom Theater, only allow 20 concurrent users. If you are unable to access a database, it may be because the max num maximum number of users has been reached. Please try again later. Let's take a look at the first uh, database, K-Movie. The videos are divided into several categories, drama, inspirational, science, fiction, uh, adventure, sports, history, musical, and more. Although the interface is in Chinese, it shows English movie titles, so you can search for movies by their English title in the search box. Here's the movie, uh, Black Widow. The play button is in blue. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use K-Movies from NTU Library's website. Let's uh, search uh, K-Movie. Now we are at K-Movie. You can search for the movie's title by their English. Please wait a moment. Uh, you can search the uh, uh, English movie title in the search box here. Now we just uh, let's take a look at uh, movie here. The play button is in blue. The second database is a classroom theater. Uh, it covers uh, the movies from Taiwan, Asia, Europe, and America. There are also some documentary and uh, animations. Here are several Taiwanese movies. If you are interested in learning Chinese, you can watch them. This movie features uh, Chinese dubbing and subtitle, making them great for foreigners uh, learning Chinese. I personally recommend the movie My Best Friend's Breakfast. It's a romantic comedy about high school students with relatively uh, simple and lighthearted dialogue. It's perfect for learning Chinese and um, learn the Taiwanese culture. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the classroom theater. I have searched the classroom theater um, and then click the hyperlink. Now I uh, click the keyword breakfast and click the poster. Just a reminder, the first panel is the trailer. So please uh, scroll down and find the play button to play the movie itself. H2PES. It's another movie database. It includes documentary covering social issues, sports, business management, climate change, food security, healthcare, and so on, making it ideal for classroom teaching and discussion. 
For example, the film highlights how several companies rebuilt and managed after、uh, facing crisis. The play button is here in in yellow. Most importantly, some video comes with English subtitles. Don't worry, the next databases we are going to introduce have English interfaces. At the Center Street Press databases collect millions of audio tracks, streaming videos, and images, mainly in arts and humanities. Users can create、uh, video clips and permanent link to videos. There are many collections within the、uh, Alessandra Street Press database. I will introduce the four collection: theater in video, opera in video, dance in video, and filmmakers library online. The first one is theater in video. As we know, the stage performers are fleeting. Once the live show ends, it's gone. However, through the database, you can replay again and again. The database、uh, contains a performance of the world's leading plays and theater documentaries, often with a、uh, multiple production showing different interpretation and cultural variations. You can also get to know the director, designers, writers, and actors. Here is the homepage of Theater in Video. Let's use the filters to find some interesting videos. I select American theater under the subject and performance under the content type. I also limit the language to English. Look, I found the video titled "Secret Service." It was released in 1977. When watching the video, I came across a familiar face. It turns out to be the movie star Meryl Streep. It's rare to have the opportunity to see her when she was younger. When playing the video, you can read the transcript at the same time, and even search keywords in the transcript. If you want to cite the video in your paper or report, there is an option for copy citation. You can select different citation styles, such as MLA and APA, and then copy the citation to your paper. There is also a permanent link option, allowing user to save the URL link for future reference or share with your friends.、Uh, now we are at、uh, theater in video,、uh, and、uh, we type the video title "Secret Service." Here is the video by、uh, Meryl Streep. You can see her name here. Let's、uh, play it.、Uh, she will be here.、Uh, let's move on to opera in video. The database contains opera performances captured on video through stage production, interviews, and documentaries. If you are a fan of opera, you may enjoy the database. The next one is、uh, dance in video. It contains ballet, tap, jazz, modern dance, hip hop, and street dance. If you enjoy watching dance performers or want to learn dance techniques, you may love the database. Next, the filmmakers library online provides、uh, awards. Winning documentary by independent filmmakers in humanity and social science. It presents a point of view and historical and current experience from diverse cultures and traditional worldwide. Besides, you can make a click on the Alessandro Street video platform. It's useful with、uh, longer videos. Then you can find the clips on your profile page and share your clips with friends. Just a reminder: to use these、uh, features, you have to register for user account on the platform. On your chosen video, select the clips menu and press the "Create New Clip" button, and you can grab the bullet point on either end of the video timeline and move them to your desired、uh, clip section and dance. 
or you can just enter in the star and finish time manually. If you want to share the kit to your friend, remember to choose visible within your institution. For more detail, you can check the tutorials on the official site. Next, I'd like to introduce the music database. NASA's music library is a comprehensive classical music streaming platform. As a reminder, NASA's music library only allows 10 concurrent users. If you are unable to access the database, please try again later. We are now at uh, NASA's music library's homepage. You may use keyword searching to find an album's title or the name of the composer. On the left side, there are several options for users to browse for music resources. It offers a list of 18 categories for users to browse, from the classical music and opera, jazz and film music, even the pop music. For the people section, there are a list of composers and artists arranged in alphabetical order. Let's start from B. Take Beethoven as an example. There is an instruction on the top. When scrolling down the page, you will see the list of words and albums. Here is an album featuring a famous violinist performing works by Beethoven. You can click the play icon to listen to the music. Besides, NASA's music library provides introduction and fundamental knowledge about music theory, biography of composers, history of music, and so on. You can also refer to the Dictionary of Music. If you love music or want to learn more about it, you can make the most of this database. Hey, I'm Mei Mei. Alright, we're done talking about databases for the arts and the music. Now let's move on to the multimedia database for self-learning and academic research. I will introduce these four databases which you may learn how to conduct a research project, perform experiments, and write codes. I will provide a brief overview of their content coverage and guide you on how to access multimedia content. The first database is Sage Research Method. This database includes textbooks, cases, data sets podcasts and videos related to social science research methods, which include comprehensive overview of research methodologies and specific research methods. It supports research at all levels by providing materials that guide users through every step of the research process. On the podcast, you can hear how social science deal with methodological issues in their research. You can listen to the podcast online and read along with transcript. You can also download the MP3 file and the transcripts PDF file. The database also provides various videos. You can see research in action through tutorials, video case studies, and expert interviews. You can browse the videos by discipline, method, and video type. For example, this video features an interview with an expert from Duke University. When playing the video, you can see the transcript at the same time. If you want to save the URL for future reference, there is a get link option. You can also cite, share, and embed HTML code in a web page. Now let's take a look at Sage. So I will uh, introduce some of the platform features. Here's the podcast, but we'll skip this part and check the video. You can choose by uh, discipline. For example, now I just select health. So it will tell you on which method this video uh, is talking about.
So you can control playback speed here and the closed caption. I'm, I'm and you can see transcript here and they are auto scrolling and they're also searchable and downloadable. Just stop here. Besides, you can create a personal profile and log in to create customer clips and add to playlist. Also download the videos to access on the go. Cool. Now let's just go back to our slide. Next, uh, let's shift to some STM multimedia databases. Journal of Visualized Experiment, JOV, is an online journal that publishes video-based visualization of biological techniques and procedures. Moreover, it remains the first peer-reviewed scientific video journal indexed in PubMed and Web of Science. It publishes more than 100 new videos each month. Okay, so why do science need Jove? In short, Jove videos present real science and live demonstration of actual lab experiments done by experts. It helps visualize details of experiments that are difficult to capture using tests. And this enables students to better understand complex science topics and how to apply concepts in the real world. Learn how real lab equipment is used to perform key techniques and increase research reproducibility and productivity. So there are two kinds of Jove products which the NTU library subscribe. The first one is Jove Video Journal. It offers video demonstrations of novel and gold standard research methods, including the peer-reviewed Jove Journal in 13 disciplines. Our current subscription provides access to all disciplines. You can search and browse in Jove Research. On the Jove article page, you can watch the operation tutorials. Some videos provide chapters, allowing users to jump to different selections of the video. Our summaries and transcripts available and a list of related videos. Besides, users can read the article. And the second one, Jove Science Education, is a video library dedicated to teaching the practice and theory of scientific experiments through engaging and easy to understand visual demonstrations. There are several subjects to be involved in, but due to the budget limit, the subscribe coverage consists of this six part and about 87 videos. So you can browse by the subject and sub-subject to explore the topics and videos you are interested in. Now let's take a look with Jove. So you can see the database page. Um, uh, we subscribe to products, Jove Science Education. Uh, the coverage is at uh, least above. Another one is Jove Video Journal. I just click the video journal and you can search anything you want to know. Now I just want to know maybe some research about Taiwan. So I can just click the first one. It talks about the extraction and analysis of Taiwanese green populace. So you can see uh, provide chapters and transcripts. So, so can you read four texts? Okay, let's go back to this video. This kind of video enable user to quickly and systematically learn new research methods and experimental techniques. Let's move on to iBiolog, an open access database of biologic related pedagogic video. iBiology provides more than 600 biologic short films, talks, professional development courses, and animations. It will let you meet the leading scientists in biologic so that you can find out how they think about scientific questions and conduct their research and can get a sense of their personalities, opinions, and perspective. Besides, it offers interactive online biology courses 
for early career scientists, biology student, and educator. Let's take a look at the features of iBiology. So for searching, there are three drop-down lists to set up the search score. You can find a video by education level, duration, and subtitle language. Furthermore, you can limit the search result to the educator resources. After choosing the video you are interested in, you can play the video. Read the overview article to know more about the theme of the video or you can see more related videos automatically recommended by the website. It also provides some educator resources to let teacher easily re prepare for the course. Now let's just start a demo with iBiology. So on iBiology, users can enter keywords in the search bar for videos or find videos by topic. Now I just uh, scroll down, you can learn from the scientific. So you can see some videos are can be downloaded and also provide transcripts. Okay. Now let's go back to our slide to the next database. Uh, the last but not least database is the Pack Video Library. You can use the Pack Video Library to learn Python, JavaScript, data science and web development with ebooks, videos, and courses. This database boosts an intensive collection of video tutorials, courses, and instructional content. You will find a wide range of courses that cater to different levels, from beginners to advanced learners. So users can easily find courses by filtering by category, programming languages or concepts to locate exactly what you need. Let's start a demo with the pack. So you can search a course you want to know or just check the all categories. For example, let's just uh, learn JavaScript. So you can View the details, including the learning goals, um, descriptions. Also, you can check the skill level indicated to ensure that it matches your current knowledge. You can also check the table of content to know a breakdown of the module or classes. So, we may not cover all of the multimedia resources of the library. So if you have further interest in it, you can take a glance to this article on our blog. And to sum up, the audiovisual resources are not just about relaxation, but about expanding your knowledge and exploring new horizons. So why not catch a movie at the library before midterm gets too busy? Mm -hmm. So, so far, is there any questions? Okay, so uh, if you have any further questions about NTU library resources and services, you can visit the service counter on the first floor of the main library or feel free to email us. And welcome to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel for the latest news and updates.